Salford is growing. More people now live here. And money is coming into the city. But Salford is a city of contrasts. As a city, we have some of the worst health in the country. People in poorer areas live up to 14 years less than in richer areas. We have to narrow the gap. Salford people should be able to start, live and age well. But just changing the way health and social care is provided will not be enough. We should take responsibility for ourselves. We always think a doctor will do it. You've got to help yourself as well. People have got to get themselves out, get themselves moving. I'm Josie Graham and I help run the curling at Eccles Congregational Church. Over the last two years, I have had a triple heart bypass, I have had lung cancer, and my son committed suicide. The treatment I've had is unbelievable. Absolutely wonderful. The curling club was started six, seven years ago by the health improvement team here in Eccles. Well, the physical part of it, people would say possibly you don't do enough exercise. But if you're sitting in front of a television and not doing anything whatsoever, what you're doing here is an awful lot. You're sending that song down there, you're bending your knees, you're bending your arms. You are doing physical things all the time. We, as a group here, we go for laughter and we go for smiling. And that's really what gets most people through a bad day. But to have three things like I've had in two years, you shouldn't have that. But hey, I'm still alive, I'm still smiling, I'm still laughing. Taking more responsibility for your own health can make a real difference. And it doesn't just mean joining a gym. The thing is about archery is that it's got an awful lot of benefits to it. For some people it may be that it helps with upper body strength, um, muscle control, it may be uh, the posture. For other people it's very much a social thing so it, it just makes them feel good. Maybe it's, it's a chance to get out of the house, to meet new people. I'm Domenico Vaughan and I run the group Archery in the Community. I've run specific groups for people like uh, dementia care. I've run groups for people with um, substance abuse issues. We've had people who come and shoot with us who have learning disabilities. They don't come thinking, this is going to do my shoulder good, or you know, this is going to do my back good, or my posture good. And it's only after a while that they suddenly realize the, that it's helping improve their well-being. It's, you know, that, that shoulder that was really stiff is loosening up somewhat. They're able to stretch it that little bit further. But it, it does tend very much to be people who come along, you know, I fancy having a go at that. The health benefits are, are what follows on. It's also not just about your physical health. Mental health can be just as important. Within the fallen angels, you've got love, you've got understanding, you've got compassion, you've got warmth. The fallen angels is my family. My name's Philip Kinsey. I started at the fallen angels just over a year ago now. I'm absolutely delighted to be part of the family and it's actually met 90% of my mental health needs. I've had mental health issues since the age of about 10. I've been seeing psychiatrists. Just over a year ago, we was at a place called the Wow Factory and we was learning to dance. And by God's grace, we met a woman called Claire. And she's seen something in, in us and found out I, I, I'm crazy about dancing. That eventually took us to the Fallen Angels and I've not looked back since. And to, to be able to freely express what, what's going on in there. The emotion that I put into my dance is like, it's just so joyous. And I can express myself now through dance. And that is what the Fallen Angels brings to me. Because I see it as emotion, as not just dance. You're putting your emotion out there. I'm actually proud to represent the fallen angels, you know, and it's, it's an absolutely fantastic life. I'm actually enjoying my life. To find out more about plans for health and social care in Salford over the next five years, 
visit salfordccg.nhs.uk. For more information about the help available in Salford to lead a healthy lifestyle, visit waytowellbeing.org.uk or contact Salford's Health Improvement Service. Call 0800 952 1000, visit facebook.com forward slash healthimprovement.service or follow us on Twitter at Healthy Salford. You can also visit salford.gov.uk forward slash health hyphen improvement hyphen service.